welcome into Shane House. Shane House is the place where we have six sims that live together and we observe the nonsense that happens. Last week, Cassandra decided to run for local office. She secured a couple of votes and went streaking out of excitement and she immediately decided that she was going to move out of the house. It had nothing to do with a community vote of people who felt like she was a fake ally and she didn't deserve to be in the house anymore. So we moved in. Teresa Prosciutto, the Long Island Meteum. It's a meat pun. It's a deli pun. Get into it, girl. Otto and Kay went out on a date, but she kind of hooked up with someone literally right in front of him. And he decided to break up with her right in that moment. And he left her at the bar and walked away. So she's all alone after everything she did. She murdered her husband with poison. She strangled someone to death with a grilled cheese sandwich. All for Otto and then threw it all away for some quick hookup in a closet. It was kind of crazy. I am excited to see if puppy Oscar Isaac gets to have any gigs. He's been trying really hard to get a good acting gig. And I'm also excited to see what happens with Teresa Prosciutto and what she does with her time in the house now that she has moved in. So let's see what happens this week in the House of Shade. In real life, Oscar Isaac is one of the hottest people in the world. And I think I did a pretty good job with short king poppy Oscar Isaac. Let's go over here and get in hair and makeup for the gig. Is that a zaddy? Hold on, I got distracted from my job. Uh, I don't know. This makeup artist just painted a carnival on my face. The yellow is really popping. I'm so curious what the inspiration today was. Was this Katy Perry's Peacock? All right, now we need to get into costume. All right, girlie, I'm ready to get in costume for this gig. I just wanted you to see what you were working with. I want you to see the measurements. We are stacked. Um, the way he looks so sexy as a pirate. This industry hustle is too real. Hobby Oscar Isaac got bronze. He earned two fame points. We literally did nothing. We were so distracted by this picnic dump truck that we did freaking nothing. She says, now this is delicious. She's looking at that booty. At least they liked us. Teresa Prosciutto. We need to work on her. She wants to complete 12 paranormal investigations. I'm excited for her. Seance, I think after everything that happened with Herman, she just couldn't stay in the house anymore. But I really loved her storyline. I loved her romance with Bone Hilda. It'd be nice to have Bone Hilda back in the house, honestly. Just Sounded like she was singing a song. So the house is potentially haunted. We're unsure. Just wanted to let you know that we're all rooting for you. Keep it up. Uh, did I just hear a baby? Was. Oh my god. Potentially, that could have been Lorraine's child. That was creepy as hell. I don't like that. I don't want to talk to the spirits in this house anymore. That was cursed. It is a nice day. We're going to go ahead and jog. It's very peaceful and relaxing out here. But she did come and run without shoes. She's raw dogging it out here. I remember my grandpa told me, never run around without shoes because there's glass in the dirt. I love this... <laughs> gorilla pose that she's doing right now she's just like <laughs> what is this pose was she not gorilla posing just now okay now she wanted to get in her jogging outfit she said all right get in my 80s gear we go run it 
Oh my god, look, a little stand just opened up. What are you what are you selling over here? Boy. It's breakfast time. She what do you won. got? Order a drink? A uh, coffee? Boy, that is won. the gay agenda. Uh -huh. Let's get a coffee before we continue running. Oh, she brought a change of clothes. She said, I'm coming out here to look fierce and sickening, and no one can stop me. Take your coffee in, jog girl. This is definitely the gay agenda. This is why gays are so fast, because we drink coffee all the time. We are fueled by it. The gay agenda is iced coffee, brunch, and equal rights. Let's check in on Teresa Prosciutto, who's getting a call from Raj. Hey, beautiful. I'm wearing your favorite outfit. You want to come over and see it? Why not? Let's go see. So her and Raj have been dating right before they, but right before she came to Shane House. She started dating him. He was a preset, same in the game. I gave him a hot makeover and he's like totally zaddy now. They have a really cute relationship. But I learned something last week that he impregnated her at some point. She had a baby and she didn't want it. So she gave it to him so that he could be a parent because he actually wants a family. So she's like kind of distancing herself right now because like she doesn't want to be a mom, but like he wants to be a dad. She likes him, but she's like not ready to be a parent yet. She's like in her MILF era all the time. So like she wants to look like a mommy, but she doesn't actually want to be one. This is the favorite outfit. Hi, Zaddy. Right. Look at how good she looks. This biker jacket is great. Oh, is this our child? This is our kid. Connor Prosciutto. Hello, child. I'm your mom. And I'm here to have a good time with your father. Teresa can now encourage kids' behavior and influence kids to clean. <laughs> Teresa has learned that Raj is unflirty. He's like, you're not around ever. You're never here. You never spend time with your child. You just dropped him off here. What, you expect me to take care of everything? Oh, we're just trying to have a good time. And it's getting all awkward now. Why is this going downhill? You literally invited me here. Do you think I have a good group of people in my life? Hold your horses. Maybe Teresa's just trying too hard. Unflirty Sims just don't like to be romanced. No, I don't actually, he says. Maybe they don't have much more chemistry. Maybe they only had it one time. Is romance just like on a downhill for everybody in Shade House? Because seriously, this happened to Otto. Are we done? We have a child together. And now you don't want to have anything to do with me. Our friendship literally went down all of these points. She's scanning the area. And her anxiety is intensifying. Oh, she definitely does not want to be here. But she does want to go swimming. Maybe we should go home. We're gonna we're gonna stop hanging out with our lover. This was extremely awkward and uncomfortable. Uh, I'm gonna go for a little daytime swim. She's got her elbows up, <laughs> face down in the water, just <laughs> shimmying. She does like pop music, though. Wow, what a moment. At least Hia knows how to swim correctly. Teresa over here trying to hide her embarrassment from her anxiety earlier by just swimming completely incorrect. Is that girl trying to assassinate us? That <laughs> the way that girl just belly flopped on our body. Is she stre She's streaking! Wiki is over here. Boobies out. Oh my god. Please. Wiki, you can't do that. Isn't that the worst when you go to belly flop and your swimsuit just comes off? So tonight, I kind of want to get together our group and go bowling. That'd be pretty fun. We'll see if Juniper wants to come. I think Connie really wants to join, but I don't know if she's got the right skills for it yet. He looks uncomfy, probably from seeing that woman's bare chest in the pool. Otto is getting a phone call from Prince Bina. Hey, handsome, I'm wearing your favorite outfit. Uh, what? Are Prince and Alexander open? Hey, congrats on getting married. I don't know why we're lovers right now because, you know... Wow, you're married Whoa. now? Congratulations. It really is the best day of your life, they say. I mean, we weren't there. Keep doing what you're doing because you're doing great. I'm not saying that, like, I'm totally fruity, but, I mean, I might be interested. We'll help you explore this if you want to. I'm open-minded. If the vibe is right, I'm willing to try any sort of relationship. Tea! 
Oh my god, there's that musty girl! Oh my god, Otto's totally exploring his sexuality and seeing if he's a fruity boy! Well, I'm gonna head on downstairs and make some lunch if you need anything. Snack, a condom, coffee, let me know. I'm not a regular husband. I'm a cool husband. Honestly, that kind of makes me happy. That, like, kind of jazzes me a little bit. That Alexandra's, like, totally about this and totally here for it. Otto liked it. Otto enjoyed yeah, this. Dark. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Wait, not the not the tears afterwards. <laughs> oh no! Not the breakdown. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh no! <laughs> not the I shouldn't have done this. Please. That's the worst when you when you have a, a straight guy and you have him over and they're like, oh no, the post nut clicked in. Maybe this was a mistake. Thank you. Not him going home with his feet out on the sand. This is definitely a walk of shame moment. Hey, he adds me, Herman, do you want to go on a date? Oh, that's even better. I would love to go on a date with you, actually. I was going to get a bowling league together, but I'll go on a little date with you. Uh -huh. Oh, cute. I love this place here. Uh -huh. yeah. Hi, Herman. Uh -huh. I love him. Damn, this old lady over here is getting her groove on. <laughs> shake your groove thing, shake your groove thing. Yeah, yeah. To this music, she's turning all the way up to this classical music. Yeah, I'm sorry, am I boring you? Order a drink. Is that another IPA? Totally is. Uh, hello? Why is this Twinkie Grandpa over here in a St. Patrick's Day hat? <laughs> this man came out here in his tap shoes in his St. Patrick's Day hat and said, I'm going to have titties out at the bar. Herman said, I need to take a little nap. <laughs> it's This is all too much right now. I'm, I came here to have a good time with you and you took a little nap. I mean, I get it, but if you want to take a nap, we can go to your house. Uh -oh. <laughs> this person ah. said, nope, not that. <laughs> Definitely not that. Don't. He learned from that girl in Paragons how to sing. Thinking about you walking home with me. I just love you a lot. You're great. XOXO, Herman. <laughs> hey, I get you're having a party and all, but that message is largely <laughs> incomprehensible. Please stop drunk texting me. <laughs> This has been a super, super enlightening episode of Shade House. One, Teresa's relationship has also crumbled, much like Otto's did. But Otto is continuing to explore his sexuality and might be joining a little poly relationship with Alexander and Prince, which is way more than I thought was ever going to happen. Lorraine is still working on her comedy. She is trying to get better and get promoted. I don't know if she has really worked on her violin skills very much, so next week we're going to have to do that. And Hia and Herman had a very cute date. Next week we need to go bowling. Hia really wants to do some more club activity, so we're going to make sure that he does that. We're going to get his charisma up. But join us next week for another episode of The Shady House. Thank you for watching.